last week's Reddit video, I said this. So I can get my gold play button back again and I could do something cool with it, like try and get as many YouTubers as possible to sign it or something like that. That's a video idea that I've had for like two years, but I've never shared it anywhere. But two days after I said it in last week's Reddit video, YouTuber Zealous released this. He did my exact idea and he got so many YouTubers to sign his play button, including Mr. Beast. Oh God, I'm never sharing any Jack Sucks' stuff exclusives ever again. I am of course kidding. I know that it is just a huge coincidence. He has not stolen my idea because in his video, he travels all over the place making these YouTubers and it'll have took him a lot longer than two days to both film and edit this video. It's just a coincidence, so please stop tweeting me and telling me that Zealous has nicked my idea. I am incredibly heartbroken though. Anyway, now the title's sword, we are back on r slash Jack Sucks at Life with 141,000 members. That's all right, isn't it? Top post of the week, r slash Jack Sucks at Life on their way to point out any slight mistake Jack has ever made. Oh God, it is so genuinely annoying, you know. In my geography videos at the minute, I'm doing all kinds of incredible, very clever stuff. Most of the population do not know Malawi's 16 surrounding countries, but I do. But if I knew one tiny, tiny thing, like accidentally say Africa instead of Asia, that's what every single comment's about, and I'm sick of it. Guinness World Records commented on my video. Oh, that's right, we got Dream a Guinness World Record this week, didn't we? The video is doing very well, as you can see. It's currently 47 on the main trending, but I think it was 12th yesterday. Really appreciate all the support. Obviously, being able to do a collab with someone that's got 30 million subscribers was very cool. And Dream was really nice throughout the whole process. So yeah, it was a fun video to do. But anyway, back to the post. Guinness World Records commented on that video saying, name a more iconic duo than us and Jack Sucks at Life, we will wait, which is a funny comment. But the Jack Sucks at Life Reddit have been challenged to name a more iconic duo. And there are 166 comments. Will any of them be funny? Probably not. Third boy 420 and toasters. Do you know what? That is funny. <laughs> Jack and Five of Jesus. Oh, j Dog. That was a good duo, to be fair. Jack and not knowing how to spell Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> Jack and Kazoos, bringing it back. Jack and his anti-clockwise hair wall. Hey, is that new record? How long did it take for us to mention the anti-clockwise hair wall? What's that, two minutes? Cool, not bad. Kong and Flossie. Oh, now they are an iconic duo, yes. Jack and Nathan from Facebook Marketplace. Jack and Straight Boy 69420. Absolutely not. You've ruined it. Let's get out of here. Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, or Jack to hurry up on the new Bubble Fire video. I would have filmed that yet. You might not think it, but it actually does consume quite a bit of time filming the amount of videos that come out across the Jack Sucks at Life empire. I will do the Pop-Up Pirate video, okay? I've got pop-up T-Rex, it's just back there somewhere. And you know what? I'm gonna wear a costume, okay? It'll be worth the wait. Are you team gold glasses or team black glasses? I mean, you've picked a terrible picture of my gold glasses there. And the black glasses isn't great either. I, my friends, am team gold glasses. They're me fancy ones. If I'm going out somewhere nice, I'll shove these on. But the reason I got multiple pairs of glasses is because I wanted them to feel like a fashion accessory that would complement my outfit, as opposed to a burden that I'm forced to wear every single day because I've got a bong eye. Jack, watch it as comparison videos, I can milk you. <laughs> Basically, all of the info is just complete rubbish. <laughs> I'll take my million views and I'll be on my way, thank you very much. <laughs> Jack, counts to seven in binary. Also, Jack has numbers on his hands. Ah, oh, you've got me. Fair play, fair play. I am gonna have to disqualify this post, though, because you took a screenshot while it had the exit full screen thing written. Just a bit of a newbie move, you know what I mean? It is one year ago today, the 6th of the 8th, 2022, when Don't Subscribe hit a million subscribers. That has been a year. That is crazy. Now, a year ago, I thought it would dip back under a million because, you know, it just have people slowly unsubscribing after we hit the milestone. But one year later, it actually has a bonus 140,000 subscribers? Why? <laughs> I guess the series kept getting views over time, but that's crazy. 140,000 bonus subscribers. I want me 14k, please, Mr. Beast. Thank you very much. I've got a Jack Sucks stuff exclusive, but I don't know whether I want to share it. Do you know what? I'll tease it. It might be something on the horizon with Mr. Beast, uh, which <laughs> I'm very excited about, but it is not Guinness World Record related before you all assume that, okay? Let's just say yesterday I got a little random DM from the big fella, and I don't want to share what it was about yet. Quick reminder that Jack once made an Apple commercial. Yes, that is me. This was part of a college project. We had to upload it to YouTube. I don't quite understand why, but you had to pick an item that you had and make a short film about it. I know that many of you have already seen it, but I've not watched it for a long time. So let's give it a little watch. Here we go. This is Jack in college, by the way. I'm most likely 17 here. I look, what, 14, 13, 12 even? This is my object of desire. Object of desire. I didn't just come up with that term for the record. The topic of the short film was Object of Desire. An iPod. It allows me to do a range <laughs> of different things. And I looked around at, you know, what I had on me. I hadn't brought any Objects of Desire, so I thought, well, I've got an iPad with us. I'll use that. So here's a nice out-of-focus shot of it. Fantastic. Including playing games. I bloody love Temple Run. 
Taking photos. <laughs> Watching videos. Love Toy Story. Social network. Oh my god, there's another out of focus shot there. Some great filming. I don't remember who I was paired with, but I am not taking responsibility for the filming. Oh my god, it's my reminders, but I can't read them because once again, it's out of focus. <laughs> that says computing, so I had some computing coursework to do. And then I don't think I can read anything else. I think that says unlock door. <laughs> I'm listening to music. <laughs> Listen to the music. This is my iPhone. <laughs> Great stuff, Jack, great stuff. Fun fact, Guinness World Records has actually posted 26 comments, but Jack has only hearted 10 of them. What can I say, guys? I'm big time now. A Romanian YouTube channel copied your shot and got almost 200,000 views. Oh, it's my YouTube logo, YouTube video, video. <laughs> well, I'd rather they didn't do that, but it looks like he's nicked my script, translated it, and then re-edited his own visuals, so I can't really do anything about it. I'll take it as a compliment. Oh, there we go, Zealous beat you to it. I got 100 YouTubers to sign my gold play button. A great idea, the play button at the end looked amazing as well. I'm so sad that I never got around to do it. I mean, it's my own fault. I literally came up with a concept two years ago because I've got it written down in an email, but I'm far too antisocial and unmotivated to actually film such a thing. So to be fair, I'm glad Zealous did it already. Look what happened to the wee wee bush. What's happened to the wee wee bush? It's just got a bit hot in the sun. More importantly, why are there still posts about the bloody wee wee bush, guys? <laughs> Next up, box, we got Jack's every YouTube channel full of fun times of fun. <laughs> why is this back? Sorry, guys, I don't know what to tell you. It's already unboxed. Let's go. Oh, good. Yeah, we got 100k subscribers. Or Jack's looks at Espanol this week. Thank you, everybody. So they don't actually do like a Spanish version of the play button. No matter what country they go to, they all say presented to and for passing, which seems a bit of a shame, really, for countries and people that don't speak English. But either way, maybe we could get a Spanish version of the YouTube letter, but probably not, because you know what society awards are like. Why are there so many posts about this? There is a channel named Jack Sucks at Jokes. All right, I get it. Yeah, there was an impersonator this week that for some reason managed to get quite a few thousand views by re-uploading some of my clips and pretending to be me. I think it's since been shut down, but basically if it's a clips channel that I've not promoted, it's obviously not me. If you say anything like that, just assume it is not me. Hey Jack, maybe you should start uploading shorts to Jack Sucks Espanol. See how they're getting more views on their shorts than they regularly would? So this is the Spanish Good Mythical Morning channel, and yeah, they are getting way more views on their shorts. Thing is though, I do upload shorts to Jack Sucks Espanol. You've done a very little amount of research there, but either way, at the minute, my shorts are getting less views than the full videos. But hey, we'll keep it going, and maybe that'll change. New build Billboard, I have an anti-clockwise hair wall. Do you know what? I'm sick of my anti-clockwise hair wall at this point. I feel like shaving my head off. Not my head, shaving my hair on. <laughs> Can you put a really long ad on some of your videos so the people that want could watch them and you could get tons of money? So this post come from someone told Timeworks that a three hour long ad appeared before a Jack Sucks at Life video once, which is ridiculous. But the thing is, I have no control over what adverts and what length of adverts are put in front of, in the middle and at the end of my videos. I can select things like if I want them to be unskippable or not, but yeah, I can't specify length. That's up to the advertiser and Google. Does Jack know that Mr. Beast reacts once leaked, don't subscribe, and some secret channels? If I don't know how many Here baseball gloves it takes to stop it! If only you had a successful series of YouTube channels where you- Yes, there it is! Don't subscribe featuring in a Mr. Beast reacts video. Yes, I did know that. I was sent it about 400 times when it happened. <laughs> Bloody hell, a bloke on TikTok made Jack out of 400 room in four! Rubik's cubes and it looks just like me. Where's the link my friend? Right, there's the picture. I've got nice pink hair. It's a nice picture that one. Oh, they're dinky winky little Rubik's cubes. Okay. Or he's just got very, very large hands, like horrifically large, like concerningly large. God, that is incredibly impressive. Because remember that each Rubik's cube needs turning into the correct configuration, so this requires a lot of skill and patience to do. And it looks just like me. Oh my god, another angle. Oh, I love the way they click in. That is fantastic. Final one. Look, he's got a giant thumb and a special tool. Here we go. Go on. Oh. That's pretty epic, you know. <laughs> Mr. Cube Collector, what a guy. You've done an incredible job. Oh my god, I found another one where him and his kid destroy me. No! No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm being reversed! Yay! Did it sound weird when I said him and his kid destroy me? I meant in like a not a weird way. Okay, anyway. This is how many social media followers Jack has achieved in total. So I've had seven and a half million subscribers across all channels on YouTube. Do not mind if I do. Then we've had 157,000 on Twitter. My Twitter really hasn't grown in like two years. I basically just gave up on tweeting a while ago. Instagram's somewhat similar with 114,000. TikTok, that's got to 200k in the last six months when that's just by re-uploading the YouTube shorts that are 
already going out on YouTube, so that's pretty epic. Facebook, 40,000, which I will take as well. Most people don't even know I have a Facebook page, but in total, that is 8 million. This actually is a fantastic opportunity to promote my new Instagram account. Instagram really seem to like videos these days, like my feed is just made up of videos that I didn't ask for, so I thought if you can't beat them, join them. So I've made a new Instagram account where all of my YouTube shorts will be re-uploaded, just like we do on TikTok. <laughs> so the page is very new, you can see it's only got 2,700 followers, but if you want to support me and just help me get some free views with the Instagram algorithm, I just need some starter followers from you guys, and then Instagram will be like, wow, people are loving this stuff, let's show it to millions of people, and then away I go, so yeah, link in the description, thank you. I think it's time for a new chain, boys. No, you are not getting it a third time, all right? We're leaving it as a duet. What did you say, mate? Attend Universität. Universität. Guys, the Universität is the German word for university. Get a bit of culture. Come on. Jacob Lords. It's a Reddit video. He doesn't talk about his anti-clockwise hair wool. I'm trying to move on just as much as you are, all right? But people keep bringing it back up again. Jack Sucks of Life would like to know your location. Jay Schlatt showing off all of his play buttons. God, it's such a flex when you can just pile them like that, like they're pizza boxes. It's fantastic. So Jay Schlatt released this video yesterday and basically he came to an agreement with Mr. Beast where if he did a Mr. Beast burger sponsorship, Mr. Beast would give him his diamond play button. I would have done a Mr. Beast burger sponsorship but I'm vegetarian. <laughs> so I was feeling very, very jealous about that because that is an easy way to get a Mr. Beast diamond play button. Until later that day I got a DM from Mr. Beast. A totally different kind of challenge, alright, but it's better than that. So, exciting. <laughs> when your parents both disown you, double rejection. <laughs> Oh, what a fantastic screenshot. I want to see that everywhere, please. Thank you very much. Jack is feeding us with good content. Two in one day? Yes, I was feeling very generous. So I released this jewelry video just four minutes after the dream video, and it definitely wasn't just a complete accident because I forgot this one was scheduled and the dream video took ages to process. Felt like I should animate this moment. Oh, what is it? How do I make my chair not be Oh my here? god, no way. <laughs> I want to see the moment of impact again. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you made the chair bounce. That's heavy. What if Jack got Guinness World Records a Guinness World Record? Guinness World Records do actually hold some Guinness World Records. It would make a good title, to be fair. Maybe it'll be a future thing. Jack saying Jack in his latest Reddit video, he said it approximately 62 times. In one video, I said my own name 62 times. Jack, 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 that's insane. I had no idea how often I said Jack. You predicted that Don't Subscribe would go under 1 million subscribers by August the 14th, 2022. Yes, I did. Right. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm getting very distracted by the post of me licking Becky underneath. <laughs> yes, that was my prediction a year ago, but I was complete and utterly wrong. It actually gained an extra 140,000 subscribers without me pushing it any further. Mad. Jack success when y'all hits 100k. YouTube. <laughs> hey, I want the play button. Some people think I've broke my Guinness World Record again. I'm not sure I have. I don't know if it would be eligible or not. There's not my voice in the video, so another person's voice features prominently, so does that disqualify it for the world record? I have no idea, to be honest. Pov, you're in a class full of 14 year old boys and we've spelled the word sex that's that's a lot of fun isn't it and then, okay <laughs> Oh my god, it's a compilation of me saying anti-clockwise hair wall. It's 27 seconds long. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. We'll have an anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. It's my anti-clockwise hair wall. An anti-clockwise hair wall. As an anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Oh my god. Anti-clockwise hair wall is not quite hair wall. But yes, that's anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Anti-clockwise hair wall. Jesus Christ. Can we leave anti-clockwise hair wall in Reddit episode 197, please? Thank you. Mr. Beast hits 100 million subscribers. Jack be like, so how will I get his red diamond play button this time? I've just realized Mr. Beast revealed his play button and I've not looked at it in the video yet. Look, there's the briefcase. It's covered in sand because he buried it. It's really weird for me to see that briefcase because there's an exact copy of that briefcase behind me and now me and Mr. Beast are basically the only people that possess that. Right, there's the play button and it looks classic it's the exact same version that pewdiepie got as you can see only his is glued together properly and hasn't been shattered into a couple of different pieces and also has a big scratch on the back that's fine though but yeah of course congratulations to jimmy and it is cool to see his play button oh look his letters laminated i wonder if it's custom written pewdiepie's was custom written from susan i want to see the letter <laughs> are you still giving mini mooka 1p a day oh my god i forgot all about this okay so rewind two years one of the things i said i was going to do if i actually got to a million was give my friend mini mooka 
$2,000 to make up for $2,000 that he missed out on in an old Mr. Beast donating to Twitch streamers video that was like four years ago. So a year later, I got to a million subscribers and I had this very large comical check printed to give to Minnie. Then I got this cup and I filled it with little pieces of paper and on them are things like this. 50 pound a day. So to turn it into a bit of a fun challenge, Minnie had to pick a piece of paper out of the cup randomly and one of them says you just get the full 2,000 pounds. One of them says you get 100 pound a day. And the worst one in there was one peer day, which meant that it would take 550 years before Minnie received the full 2,000 pounds. And can you guess which of these pieces of paper Minnie picked out? <laughs> so I paid him one peer day for like four months maybe, but it was a bit of a nightmare for him and for me from an accounting point of view. So I didn't share this anywhere, but all the way back in February, I basically gave Minnie another chance at this, and this time he got a much better one. I think it was like a thousand pounds a day. So it meant he got the full rest of his money in just two days. And I'm gonna just be honest, Minnie was meant to get me a little gift to say thank you, and we were gonna record me unboxing it so we could finally put this monstrosity of a challenge behind us. But uh, he never sent us the gift. He took the two grand and he got out of there. Where's my gift, me Mooka? I want my gift. We need to start using this. Oh, it's me bloody fiver camel. Yeah, it never really got legs, this post, did it? <laughs> I wanna see more posts with the camel and the piece of paper, please. Thank you very much. Oh my god, I went to Czechia, Poland, Germany border as featured in Jack's border video. It was lovely. Thank you for showing us. Oh, that's so cool. You're actually there. Look at that, a three country border. That is epic. I can't wait for when I'll be able to go to places like this because there's so many areas like that in Central Europe that would make such fun Jack Sucks drug videos. So they'll be coming out in the future, okay, when I'm able to. Jack Sucks' stuff is going to get a new most viewed video. Oh my god, how rare is your body? <laughs> what a silly video to get to number one. Has it overtaken yet? Let's have a look. Oh, not quite, but it's very close. Oh my god, it's 10k away. Look at this three year old Jack Sucks' stuff video, by the way. There are no play buttons on the wall. That is crazy. Jack, I make a Guinness World Record video to get on English television. I get on Russian and Indian TV. <laughs> yes, yeah, so far I've never been on English TV, but we have been on TV in India and in Russia, which is really weird. It is a personal life goal of mine to get on English TV at some point, even if it's just for a second. I don't know how, but it's something I would like to do in my life. What if Jack could reunite all of PewDiePie's play buttons? Okay, so we know that- Oh, my battery's ran out. But yes, we know where this one is. It's behind me. I can't show you right now. This one, I think PewDiePie's still got. Someone told me they saw it in Matthias' story in the background like a year ago, but I wasn't sent any proof. This one, I've no idea where it is. And then this one's currently owned by Keemstar, and I don't think he'll send it to me. Oh, this is the next post down. So thank you, everyone, very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already for some bizarre reason. Also, follow me on my new Instagram account just if you want to help me out. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, my God. I've just realized I was looking at the camera lens as I did the outro even though it's turned off and closed. <laughs>